Welcome everyone! In this video you will learn the basics on how to use Avid Pro Tools with a LucidLink file space. At this point, let's adjust the size of your LucidLink cache on your SSD. First, open a LucidLink client and click on a tab with the three band EQ. Click on Open Control Panel. Now when in Control Panel, go to LucidLink Cache Size and change the default value from 5 GB to 200 GB or 100 GB if you don't have the space available. With using LucidLink, keep in mind that it is very similar to using a local hard drive. For example, if you want to transfer stems to your file space that were recorded in another DAW and are currently on your local storage, you can simply use copy and paste no differently than if you were copying from one local drive to another. At this point, you can create a folder in your file space for your Pro Tools session. Then, create your session in Pro Tools selecting the directory you just created. As with using local drives with Pro Tools, you can drag and drop your stems directly into your session. Working in Pro Tools with LucidLink is no different than what you are used to. To Pro Tools, a LucidLink file space is a fast local drive. Pro Tools is not aware that it is reading and writing to cloud storage. A lot of times we may need to use a video guide track for our session. Once again, you would import the video guide track the same way you would normally do it using local storage. Recording new tracks directly to the file space is the same as our old familiar workflow on local storage. Check it out! So, what about bouncing directly to a LucidLink file space? Yes, you can! Just as easily as you can record directly to a session in a file space, you can also bounce directly to a file space as well. Again, the process is no different than when using local storage. Okay, so now here's maybe the coolest part of all. Since a LucidLink file space is your single source of truth that is globally accessible, if one audio engineer saves his or her session to the file space and closes the session, another audio engineer can then open up that same session for further recording or mixing. Hope you've enjoyed this video and feel free to check out our other videos.